have had this camera nearly two years now, and uh, you've used it so much that all of the like icons on the buttons have all faded. I effectively have to guess what all the buttons do. And every now and again, you know when you think about doing something and you don't just let, and you don't just do it. Um, so if I ever like turn over the camera and I'm like, right, I need to delete all, all of the clips on it now because I've copied them all over onto the computer. Go through, press the button, I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? Which, but which of these buttons is this? And what I have to do is I have to go, look away, kind of sneak up on myself, surprise myself, uh, and just suddenly go like, oh, bam, there you go, it works. Figured it out, happy days. But I could not tell you for the life of me what all of the buttons do, but if I don't think about it, I can delete everything, no problem. <laughs> but if I think about it, I get caught in a loop where I just try and delete one thing at a time. Whew. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is an exciting day. I'm working from home, Laura has a half day, I'm potentially having a half day, but I'm working like unsociable hours, effectively. So I started work a lot earlier than normal, um, and I'm gonna probably finish a lot earlier than normal, i.e. when Laura comes back, more or less, um, and then maybe do some tonight or over the weekend or whatever to make up for it. Because as I speak, an exuberantly large amount of money is being transferred to me slash my solicitors, and then being transferred out across to someone else and somewhere in Bristol right now someone is moving out of a house that I will own and well Laura and I will own by the end of the day which is fucking exciting not yet guaranteed it could fall through because we're exchanging and completing on the same day but in theory like 90% chance likely everything will go swimmingly and it'll be fine the money has already been started to transfer, it's going to take a couple of hours uh, and they'll let us know when the keys have been released. And every ounce of my being wants to get on my longboard or get in the car and drive to the house and watch them move out. And just, cause I'm, we're just so fucking excited. <laughs> it's going to be so good, but it's going to be a really weird anti-climax because we're, gonna, we're buying it today, we own it as of today, so like the bills will start as well, bills will start as of today. Um, but we're not planning on moving in until next week. <laughs> and we're not planning on moving out of here for even longer, for, like lit for literally a month. Because we're exchanging complete on the same day and it could fall through, we haven't given in our notice at this place. So we're still gonna have this flat for a decent amount of time after. We really wanna just wanna move in, but we don't have things like, we're not gonna have sofas, we, wanna, we don't have a table yet, we don't have fridge or freezer or anything like that. Well, I have a freezer, but I don't have a fridge. Um, so there's loads of things that we just don't have. Beds. So we can't physically move in. Some of these things we can get before next week, but um, most of the things we're getting next weekend, when we do the proper move, we're gonna either get things delivered or pick them up from the shops and whatnot. It's so fucking exciting. It's been so long in the making as well, because we put in the offer to buy the place in March. Yeah, in March sometime. And we haven't seen it since then. And it's now fucking the end of July, and it's finally gone through. Fingers crossed anyway. Touching wood. Touching wood, boys. Laura and I are finding it, Laura's obviously at work, but I'm here. Find it very fucking difficult to concentrate. Because oh, I'm just, just constantly thinking about it. It's like Christmas. It's like, it's actively Christmas. The presents are somewhere, hence these fucking massive cardboard boxes. Uh, presents are somewhere. We can't open them yet. I'm also like three, so I'm like fucking desperate. <laughs> yeah, hopefully about lunchtime. And I've just I've wandered around the flat and put my glasses down somewhere. Oh, there they are. Hopefully by midday, we're gonna be able to get the keys. Laura's gonna come back, and we're gonna go and have a look around. Hopefully. If not, hopefully by some point today. And it basically, depending on when the keys get released, depends on how unsociable the hours are I'm working at work. <sighs> But my, I just constantly, my heart is just going <laughs> It's just like this, this like tension in the air. Because there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing. And I cannot imagine for the life of me how stressful it would be to have to do this but leave here at the same day. So obviously the seller is doing everything we're doing but has to leave and move into somewhere else all on one day. I cannot imagine for the life of me how stressful that would be. Because <laughs> I'm stressed. And I've got this place for literally the rest of my life if I want it. <laughs> I mean, like, if this falls through, effectively, like, it's a massive inconvenience to everyone involved, and it's a huge ball ache, I definitely don't want that to happen. But for us, it's like, mm, 
no real biggie. <laughs> just have to cancel the internet uh, and delay the insurance and delay the mortgage and all that kind of shit. But effectively, whatever, whatever, Trevor. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's obviously not going to happen. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, I can't imagine what it would be like for them um, or anyone else in the chain. That's one thing I'm really not looking forward to is selling a house, selling a house again because it's going to be a stressful AF. I can barely even concentrate at this point. We just got an email through from the estate agent saying that the uh, sellers are, or vendors, I think they call them, are won't have their post forwarded set up until Monday. So they, can they check the post Monday or can we take the post to the estate agents for them? Um, which we'll have to do because we won't have moved in yet. So we won't be there. <laughs> um, but we, and we'll be at work. There is some kind of unit that they couldn't fit into the van. And uh, if we don't want it, they'll come and pick it up either tonight or tomorrow. Oh my God. Just like, oh, it's fucking stressful, dog. Jesus Christ, the money's gone. <laughs> money's been transferred. We're just waiting for the go ahead now. Oh my God. So really friggin' warm today. There's apparently it's gonna be thunderstorms tonight and you can feel the like, thickness in the air. Normally relatively cool until about three o'clock, but I am warm. I've already had my fan on. Oh, uh, we can go pick up the keys. Holy shit. All right, let's go pick up Laura and the keys. Some time has passed. This is the second time we've come back to the house now, which is a weird thing to say instead of flat. Um, we've come back armed with the Dyson, some stuff to clean. I'm not gonna give you a full tour until we've like properly moved in, because there's, it's empty, there's like, Masking tape on the floor, masking out the size of things that we're going to buy. Oh, he's got a night. Oh, God. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. Currently trying to figure out if we can get rid of this little bit of skirting board here so we can get a bigger fridge in. That's our current plan. Um, and otherwise, we're going to do a bit of a clean around, have a bit of a whip around because it's a bit dirty, obviously, because someone's just moved out of it. Um, but otherwise, we, we first came around, it was starting to look really friggin' da daunting. Yeah, so the first time we came here, it was a bit daunting because we're like, what the fuck do we need to do? But now we've got, went home, had some lunch, we're like, let's fucking do it, you know? Stuck in. So we got out, bought a fucking hammer and a chisel. Let's go to town. The time back at this house today because we got all the way back to our flat and then Laura said, did you uh, lock the patio? Yes, yeah, so that is quite clearly not. It was warm, so. This is something that we aren't uh, used to is um, having more than one door to look after. So, Laura, locked. Also locked. All the windows downstairs are closed. I'll just check upstairs. And something that is pretty fucking alien to me. Yep, no, yep, locked, 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 locked. This look, we're both internet shopping, but Laura's busting out the special wine glasses and a bottle of champers. You guys seen my really fucking cool wine glasses, by the way, so fucking cool, aren't they? And doing this up. We sorted out all the things that we need to sort out. Tomorrow it's gonna to be another day of sorting things out and stuff, getting things ordered and or delivered. I think I'm gonna to have to take some time off next week because we're gonna to have to get things delivered before we have internet, which means I'm not gonna be able to work from home. And like the delivery slots are so shit that they're like a full day. So if we can like plan them all in for one day, she'll be laughing. The only real annoying thing being that the internet's been installed on Friday and it's being delivered somewhere then I pick it up and then install it myself which means obviously that I'll be out of the house for like 30 minutes or something which inevitably will be the time that everyone comes. Also a bit pissed on Champus. Um, Laura doesn't like it as much as I do so I've had more and look we just keep it in there and I'll have some of that tomorrow. Get pissed again. It's raining guys and it feels so great. We've, we're on an excursion today picking out furniture decided what sofas we're going to buy, but we're buying them online because so we're not talking through them in the shop because I can't imagine anything worse than that. But we uh, took the car over to Wales to go to so Sophology, which is in Cardiff, um, just to make sure that we could get a sofa because we liked ones in Next, but they're bloody expensive. We've now decided on Sophology and DFS. I managed to lose Laura and Ikea and it's going to be all my fault. First purchase is in. Well, not first purchase, but first delivery. <laughs> Bang. What a bloody exhausting day today, ladies and gentlemen. We set off here at about half 10, 11-ish. Didn't get back till more or less six. Um, we headed on over to uh, Cardiff to go to Sophology to pick out sofas. Uh, came back, 
pick, uh, looked at the sofas in Next and DFS. We then went to uh, well, some lunch at Cribs, went to Curry's, we bought our fridge and freezer, went to Next, bought our table and chairs, uh, came back here, panic, oh no, sorry, Ikea, mattress, sword, came back here, panicked about the size of the sofas, went to remeasure them, came back, ordered the sofas, ordered everything else, paid for everything now, it's all done, <laughs> it's all done, stress over, dropped in a like extortion amount of money, but it's all cool, because it's all ordered, all in one day, swish, figured out the plans to move in, sorted out the vans and whatnot, nailed it, mate. Man, does that take it out of you? It's literally, like I say, about six o'clock, we stopped to have some dinner, and then did a little bit afterwards, uh, sorting out last minute admin stuff. Um, it's gonna be fun. So we've got some stuff being delivered on Friday, some stuff being de delivered on Saturday. We're moving on Saturday. Um, some things, i.e. sofas, are gonna take ages, it's gonna take like three weeks. So we're gonna have like a good fortnight at the very least without um, uh, sofas. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Should at least, at the very least, have a table and chairs. So there's that to look forward to. We will spend the vast majority of our time, if not, on a sofa bed, which we've also got to pick up on Saturday. It's like a military operation, this boys. It's been a wet day today, but we were deliberately planning today to try and make it as like, indoor and chilled out as possible. So uh, we had a bit of a lion. We um, we had a bit of a lion, had some breakfast, just like in general, had a nice chilled out morning. We have a problem with the shower <laughs> here where if you have a shower like after, after nine o'clock and before 11 in that time frame there, um, it just goes hot, cold, hot, cold, cold forever. Um, so we have to wait until like post 11 to have a shower and get ready. Um, we got ready and then what did we do? I changed my longboard tyres now, so they're now on the tyres rather than the street wheels. Been talking about doing that for ages, officially done. Um, it's also been pissing it down all day today, like I said earlier. Um, so probably good timing, but it's going to be too wet tomorrow to use them, which is sad. I need to test, I haven't had a chance to test whether or not it's like seated properly. Um, I'm semi-conscious, it feels like it wobbles a bit, which is a bit scary. We'll find out. <laughs> Otherwise we were sorting out a shitload of paperwork, um, organising, buying some more stuff so it can be delivered. Um, got deliveries coming in tomorrow, uh, doing some stuff to change our addresses. Um, what else have we done? Started to pack, so we've taken our first carload of stuff. Um, we're trying to take the stuff that, like, we don't need. We're going to do quite a few, like, small car loads effectively over this week. Um, by quite a few, I mean like two or three. Um, but effectively we need to fill out the car as much as possible. So we've taken, uh, for example, all of our DVDs, everything from there, everything from underneath there that we don't need. There was like a box around there we didn't need. Anything that was like in a box that, anything that's in a box that we can use to put stuff in. So I took like my DV bag, um, which is a big hiking rucksack, with a load of shit, brought that back so that we can do that. Um, so we can use it again, all that kind of shit. Take it over there. Um, yeah, so basically over the next week or so, we're gonna have to just keep taking stuff in and out. It's gonna be great fun. Um, so, came back, watched Formula One, which was pretty bloody good. Had some dinner. I did a bit of overtime uh, for myself. And then we watched some TV. Now we're heading to bed. <sighs> it's gonna be a very bloody busy week, boys. Very bloody busy, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be good fun. Tomorrow, work. And I've gotta run some errands after work, pick up some stuff. It's gonna be fun. Right. It's 10 past seven in the morning. What temperature do you think it is by looking at this scene right now? Wrong, it's 20 degrees Celsius, and I was a fool. So, I was also a fool last night. I went to bed and then got up out of bed again because I wasn't feeling sleepy at all and then stayed up until about quarter past one doing work, overtime work. Um, and then had to read my book for 15 minutes to try and like force myself to be tired enough to go to sleep. My body clock is out of whack. <laughs> I'm not doing my sleeping pattern anymore. Um, it just it doesn't fit, it won't fit until we've properly moved. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a couple of late nights for me. <laughs> I think I'm back on my, my normal habit of just staying up stupidly. Um, Otherwise, today I've only got a couple of errands to run. I've got some deliveries to pick up and I've got to go sort the post out at the, at the house. Um, 
So I am taking, well not taking half a day, but I'm coming, I'm working from home for the afternoon. Um, which means because I'm going to the house, <laughs> I've got a boot with some stuff in it. I've got quite a few like um, boxes in my boot, just because why not? There's no point wasting wasting a trip and not taking anything. At some point now, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I would have started rendering, <laughs> rendering out and editing some videos. I need to start, well I'm allowed to now start rapidly catching up, which means I don't have the luxury of being continuously a month and a bit behind. And it doesn't matter if I forget to do a video every now and again. I'm gonna have to dedicate some time to just sitting down and just smashing out some videos. Lunch time and I've come back to the home. It's very echoey in here until we get all of the stuff in. Previous owners had a cat, um, a really nice fluffy cat actually. It was here when we did the viewing. Um, and Laura can smell it still. Laura used to own a cat, so I assume that's why she can smell it and I can't. Um, so she told me to, or she said we should, so I got some, uh, like, the things you put a stick in, I don't know what they're called, in the sense. Um, they will like start to just get rid of the smell of the cat or whatever. Um, problem being, that we were going to go to Wilco's, there's no Wilco's in Bath. So I had to go to Primark, so now it's very likely this place is going to smell like a 12 year old girl, uh, 12 year old, 12 year old girl's bedroom. But, better than cat pack. But I can smell this, I can't smell the cat, so. But otherwise we've got this and this to drop off, but I need to empty this back out so that I can take the box back home so we can use it to bring more stuff later. And then, I just need to get back to work. But otherwise, this place is so much closer to work than the other places. It's good. Starting to feel more like home by the day, look. Just don't look at the rest of this place, it's empty. And, ladies and gentlemen, I had one of those ones today where I like deployed something up. I thought I had it working last night. Got it deployed. And then the um, tester was like, um, I can't really do this with bank details. And I was like, put some bank details in, I'm like, it's fine. What are you talking about, boy? <laughs> and then there's this really weird case where if you, well, it's not that weird, if you don't have any bank details registered with us already, then the third party service will reject you if you pass in new ones. You have to say, yeah, these are the new ones, please. Thank you. Uh, which is fun. Um, it doesn't happen if you pass in the details exactly the same and you have them but they're different or if you have them and they're already there, fucked it. Because obviously when I'm testing shitloads of them, I'm just pumping loads through. So I've obviously got loads ready. God damn. So I have been, I, I've also had one of those days where I spent about 25 minutes sat on my own desk today. So <laughs> it's now currently being deployed. I'll get myself a cup of tea and then I'm going to start working on the next story. Woohoo! What an absolute hoop. What the joy of trying to do a management profile thing with like objectives. And I'm on the blower to my internet provider so I can cancel. So the, I've got to do this thing where it's like, talk about stuff, but I'm not really sure what to say because it's like, this doesn't make sense to me, right? Overall performance rating on review period, I can tick one of those boxes, cool. This says, business as usual, role specific, e.g. management of own workload, quality, and accuracy, tick. Am I supposed to tick that? Am I supposed to tick how good I am? And make comments? And then there's other objectives, and then there's like four ticks, which I believe are my old objectives I'm supposed to put there, and see how well I did. And then here it's future objectives. I just don't know what I'm supposed to write, or like what cont- is it, am I supposed to write it in the text of, like, from first person? I'm not very good at this kind of shit. I just cancelled, and uh, he was just like going, right, so that's that, I've put in my last payment on card now instead of by direct debit. Um, so now I've just got to watch to make sure they don't direct debit me, because if they direct debit me I'll be hot on their asses. Um, and he was like, right, is there any more questions? I'm like, no, okay, cool. And then I like stopped him, I was like, whoa, 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 hang on, one sec. Just as a reminder, um, what do I do with the router? And he's like, oh no, we don't need that back, so just dispose of it. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, it is a bit of tat in a way, isn't it? And he just kind of laughed to himself. And it is tat. It's shit. Fucking piece of shit. Can barely get data from there to there without disconnecting. It's hot garbage. Oh, God. If we're moving to a much better ISP, <laughs> it actually gives you a good router. Um, one that they actually do ask back. Um, so, there's that. If I cared enough, if I was going to be here for a long period of time, slash the internet was even, if the internet was as fast as my new ISP is going to deliver me, and I still had that hot shit piece of garbage router, 
Um, I'd have bought a new router by now, but until then, got it. So in the new place, I shouldn't need a new router, hopefully. But that's all sorted. Happy days. I am just trying to fill out this bullshit form. The only real problem being that I can't quite figure out what my um, words. I can't quite figure out what my uh, old objectives were. So I don't really know how to mark myself on my old objectives. So I'm gonna have to send an email and be like, hey, can I have uh, can I have those that my old form emailed through to me? Because I ain't got it anymore. I think I might have had it on my old laptop, but I got it replaced with this one. Is that true? I think so. Why did this get wiped at some point? At some point in my time, this got wiped. I can't remember what that was for. Oh, it's because it got encrypted and they had to wipe it to do that. That's why. Grand scheme of things, pretty chilled out evening. Just went shopping, did a little bit of tidying and a little bit of packing um, in preparation for tomorrow. We'd like the estate agents are coming around here tomorrow for the landlord. Um, but it's estate agents, not viewing, so that's good. I think they're gonna wait, well, I'm hoping they're gonna wait until after <laughs> We get to move before they probably some people around. I've always gone off to bed and I'm gonna read my book for a little bit because it's not midnight yet. I'm not particularly tired, but I think if I read a little bit I'll I'll get tired enough to go sleep easier. I'm trying something new today at work. Um I say new, not that new. Just an extension of the same old shit I've been doing. But we'll get there. Um I'm trying to like I'm trying to stay enthused, but it's difficult because of the move. Just wanna like move now. You know, I feel like I should have taken some time off over this period just to do the move and whatnot. But I can't really move until the weekend anyway. So it's it's just like this this state of like um what's the word? Uh it's like we don't belong anywhere at the moment. The bus has arrived. Um but yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard because it does feel like we don't have a home, even though we kind of have two, <laughs> you know. I I I've got to make some phone calls today. It's like there's there's so much to do, but it's not getting us anywhere yet. You know, it still feels like we're not even like even at the tip of the iceberg. I'm a big fan of bath in the morning. Service are pretty. I actually came back at half um, half day today because I was just in a bit of a funk, you know, and I couldn't concentrate. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to come home and I'm going to smash it out of the park in the afternoon and I had a bit of over that. Starting something new now um, and entering this world where I'm starting to get more and more data out of the database um, and I'm trying to like collate it into one thing because we've kind of got a lot of queries that more like kind of get very similar data in similar tables and I feel like it could be collated. Um, but every time I try I feel like I shouldn't really try because what the fuck does it matter? We uh, don't particularly well, I mean, if we ain't got time, to be honest with you. And that's really starting to friggin' irritate me, is we don't have time to do it properly. Um, but anyway, that's that. Otherwise, this afternoon was a relatively busy one. We went to Ikea, we're measuring out wardrobes and chest of drawers. Um, and we moved a load more stuff uh, this evening, did a bit more measuring and stuff. Um, so, we'll get in there, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get in there. Otherwise, I'm going to go to bed because I've been tired recently. Um, <laughs> so, <sighs> I've been set up late because I haven't been tired. Now I'm tired, so I'm going to go. Um, although I should actually really be doing something, which I'm not doing. I'll do it tomorrow. Cool. Better. So this video is getting a little bit long, so thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you later.